What's up guys? This is Top Ten King and on this episode we are going to try to start this here 1978 Kook Magnum X. I recently bought it and if you go back in my channel on my previous video it's where I picked it up. This is obviously a non-rod running project bike so we are going to have to go through the carburetor make sure it's clean go through the transmission make sure it's kicking over has oil uh, make sure it has spark make sure the pet top works and uh, try to kick her over and see if she uh, has some life in her still say hi Bob and if she does have some life we're gonna do a little mild restoration on her so that'll be another video in the works so stay tuned and come with me and enjoy in 78 Pook Magnum X little kids pit bike um, a lot of these bikes never made it and uh, well if they made it they made it to the junkyard so this guy's still pretty much all there for the most part just needs side covers needs a rear fender um, needs that front fork straightened out a little bit it's a little bent there but if I get all those things it'll look pretty nice so right now we got the carburetor off we got my little uh, cleaner I took uh, the whole carburetor apart I will kind of give you a little show you there that's all the parts I took the car part took the pet cock cart apart I can't talk sorry um, so we're gonna clean this I'm heating the solution up so right now we're just warming this solution up and then we will turn on this okay, yeah, sizzler thing on and once this heated up it'll run for about maybe four to eight minutes we'll clean that car up really nice put it back together clean that pet cock make sure the pet cock will work and we will put that carburetor back on here pet cock on here Put a little fresh gas in the tank, turn the pet cock on, and kick her over. Um, we are gonna see if we have spark here in a second. I just took the spark plug out. So here's the moment of truth if she has a little sparky spark. So we got the spark plug off. We have it against the head. We are going to kick it over to see if she has spark. And she has spark. One more time. So there's a little bit more to this before getting it started or starting up for the first time. Um, one, I put transmission oil because there's none in it. That could be scary too. But when I filled it up, it started draining like a sieve at the very bottom. Well here, this was ripped. So I had to hand make a gasket and I put the gasket on there as you can see and put it on and now it holds oil so that's a plus so we have spark we got the carburetor cleaned and put back on got the petcock put on and it does flow so it works gas tank is already immaculate clean on the inside we got the new gasket down there. It still kind of has a little bit of a leak. We got to fix some of the indentation marks in the case so it completely stops leaking. But overall, I think we're ready to go for a startup for the first time. First start, put the choke on. Uh, we're good to go. Try to pull this cable a little bit. She wants to go. Grab the ass end of that throttle and hope she starts. I wouldn't recommend wearing flip flops. There it is. There it is. Almost. Come on, baby. Wake up. Oh, 
touch it. Here we go. There we go. say that's a good first start it took a minute but whoo she's back to life guys and now I think what I'm gonna do is just do a mild restoration on this baby getting her the way she looked about 30 years ago 40 years ago so stay tuned guys hope you enjoyed this peace out alrighty so we got her started for a second but uh, I decided to change the spark plug, put the correct spark plug closer, correct, closer to correct spark plug in it. So we're gonna see if it actually starts up better. So let's give it a try. shocked a couple of times and uh, I learned not to do that after the second time of pulling the spark plug boot off because apparently it doesn't fucking work but anyways yeah she was alive and well after putting that new spark plug or the correct spark plug in so uh, that's a plus but yeah it's safe to say she starts right up